part of that. Tonight, meteorologist Kirsty Zontini and I had the opportunity to host the illumination of the Tree of Light at Carillon Historical Park. In the background there, hundreds strands of lights with 20,000 bulbs standing 200 feet tall. I, I don't think there is anything like this on the planet. Uh, it, it's really kind of neat. There's some there's some, some neat light, light shows and, and uh, uh, some similar things, but uh, we like to say it is the world's largest uh, musical tree of light, uh, 200 feet tall and 57 bells. President Brady Crest said people from all across the country have taken pictures with this tree. He recently heard from families in Colorado and Arizona. A little bit chilly out there tonight, huh? It was. My toes <laughs> were really crying. Yeah, I know. That was the first thing that I asked you when I saw you. How cold was it? <laughs> oh, but it was so festive. I'm Very sure nice. it's just the joy brought you warm. Yeah, we were moving around. <laughs> yeah, <fine>. yeah. <laughs> uh, still chilly out there tonight, and that's actually going to play a big role in the potential for some snow showers moving in late tonight into early tomorrow. That could lead to some slick spots. And then also, it's on the leading edge of some warmer air, and it's that warmer air that potentially could bring a better chance for some slippery roads as we head into your day tomorrow. So when we look at live Doppler 7 radar, you can see just a little bit of some light scattered snow showers and flurry activity off to our west. We've got somewhat of some dry air in place, so that's eating away at some of those flurries, and you'll see that in the first few frames. That kind of takes away that blue, but then starts to fill it right back in. That's because the air is starting to saturate with this warm front. That's right, a warm front that's lifting to the northeast. So we'll look at a few flurries initially, but then look in central Illinois. You see how the snow showers turn over to that pink? That's a little bit of a wintry mix and the potential for some freezing rain. So here's the story. We've got the cold air in place. It not only keeps the air cold, but the ground cold. And with the warm front, it moves in the milder air, but it warms the air first. And there's a lag time before the surface temperature itself will climb back above freezing. So we're looking at the potential for a little bit of some light freezing rain tomorrow. It's nothing like we saw two weeks ago, but we will watch out for some slick conditions. In Greenville, you can see you've got a little bit of a snowpack left over on the grassy surfaces. That actually helps to cool that thin layer of air right at the ground as well. 23 degrees right now. A light breeze gives you a wind chill in the upper teens. Here is a look at your road surface temperatures. Exactly what I'm telling you is as far as those temperatures being below freezing in most spots, especially back and side streets that are not treated, they are going to be the ones that are slower to catch up to warming above 32 degrees tomorrow. Here's future cast. It's going to show you lots of clouds through the night with a few flurries that are going to make their way in better chance by early tomorrow morning. Here's 6 a.m. A few flurries or a passing snow shower around daybreak. It's not a lot of moisture. It's just enough that it could moisten up that pavement slightly. At lunchtime, you see a few speckled showers here on Futurecast. Those will be freezing rain showers. And then as we gradually warm up through the day, we will transition that over to some light rain showers. Then we're going to be looking at a better chance for rain in the upcoming weekend. So here's your forecast for before school. We're waking up in the low 20s, 21 for you in Sydney, 23 in Xenia. Any breeze is going to give you a wind chill in the teens. Tomorrow afternoon, 37 degrees. Again, a passing flurry early. Then you might see a slight mix of some spotty freezing rain showers to rain showers uh, for the second half of the day. On Friday, we'll see a few areas of drizzle. Then the rain picks up as we head into Saturday. We'll watch it drying out towards Sunday. And then Monday, we're going to look at our next system that could bring us the chance for rain and snow into Tuesday. So 37 for tomorrow. There's the warm-up. You can see we get into the 50s this weekend. It will be wet on Saturday, dry on Sunday, cool down comes in for Monday, and then that chance for rain and snow on Tuesday with highs in the 30s. Be sure to tune in tomorrow morning at 425. Kirsty will talk about the chances for those flurries and freezing rain chances throughout the day. Tonight I spotted gas stations across the Miami Valley selling at just under $2 a gallon. Shot this video at the Speedway on Stewart Street in Dayton. You can see a gallon of gas, $1.99. At one point, drivers were waiting in line. Compare that to the national average of $2.51 a gallon. To find the cheapest prices in your area, head over to our WHIO News app and click on Pump Control under the Traffic tab. A new version of a life-saving drug is now available. Up next, the price difference between this and the EpiPen. Dayton Daily News, celebrating 120 years of real journalism.